Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Our Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have an emergency service call for a commercial refrigeration system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. It's 11.37 p.m. and we have an emergency service call. Worked all day, came home about 9 p.m. Took a shower and there we have it. Got another service call right, right back at it. This outdoor, this condensing unit here serves all the refrigeration equipment in the building, a couple walk-in boxes and a bunch of smaller refrigerators. And they said, everything is warm so first thing i'm gonna do is come to the condensing unit first thing i noticed when i took off this grill here look at that condenser coil it is plugged it is completely completely plugged it's just ridiculous one thing i noticed also this compressor and this compressor both cold unfortunately with a system like this this something goes down with this condensing unit you're gonna lose everything inside those refrigerators there's literally a breaker panel on this unit look at that main breaker tripped main breaker is tripped let's take off this control panel that breaker panel out there i, I don't like the looks of that look what i got just in case <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wood. Don't worry, nobody's getting electrocuted today. How many volts? Huh? How many volts do you think? Oh, I already see the problem. What? Ooh. Got a little burnty burnts right here. This contactor here, we got some burnt wires. Which compressor is this for? What the heck? It's, let me see, what kind of contact there is this? 24 volt coil, three phase hour. We got some burnt wires here. That's what happened, and then this thing overamped. Hopefully, this, this compressor might be gone too. Who knows? Come check it out. Got my buddy Zach here. Right here, got all those burnt wires. Oh, yeah. That contact is probably done. see some wires here hopefully these compressors are still good oh man what a mess definitely gonna need a let me see what I got in the truck but that's good I mean it's not good but it's good might be able to get them up and running we'll see what happens this one looks like it was recently changed. This one is just burnt. I'll, send you, I'll show you guys a picture. This wire is sitting. Look, this is open, touching. Oh man, going touching from one face to another. And then this one completely just burnt off. Oh man. I touched it with my finger. This thing just is crispy. Still hot? Nah, nah, nothing's hot. This thing shut down a while ago. Oh man, and I see some burn marks here. I wonder if a lot of these wires are actually got black marks on it. It might have to be redone. Oh wow. And with one face touching the other, we gotta mega out this compressor. Whichever compressor it is, I don't know. Might be safe to just check both of them. You gotta brush down these coils. Super bad. Oh man, these are greasy. Yeah. So while he got that going, I have a brand new contactor. Three poles, 24 volt coil. Alright. Let's see what we can do. All right, I just want to meg out these compressors. I took a picture of the terminals. Let's isolate the electrical. Right. 
and get a good grounding point on the casing of the motor. I always like to do this little piece here. I'm gonna use a piece of sandpaper and get some of that paint off. So I have a good ground, or you could also use the copper connected to the compressor. I'm gonna put one lead on the casing of the compressor. Uh, just watch out for a quick second while I do this. And we're gonna put one lead on one terminal here. Let's test. All right, it's still, still alive. And now we're gonna switch it to the next terminal. Applying 535 volts DC. All right, it's not grounded or anything like that. It's alive. Not a fan of the reading of it, but next. Start off low, but they're slowly climbing. All right, this compressor checks out. Let's just check out this one before we start doing all this craziness. I'm gonna do the same for the next one. These, these, these terminals really look bad. The other one is loose. I'm gonna put some subtlest connectors on those for now. Let's sand down that edge or use copper. Let's check this out. Basically, you're checking each terminal to ground. Okay, test. Starting off fairly low. I don't like that. Next. Oof. Two hundred. I mean, this thing is the voltage drop. This thing is on its way out. Oof. Real ugly. Real ugly. It's climbing up. That I, I'm not a fan of those readings. All right, we'll probably do, but it might be wise of them to do more maintenance here and keep up to date with these things, or they're just gonna lose everything again. All right, let's see if we got some slack, but I'm gonna do one wire at a time. Coil on this type of system. Coil for three phase contactors, three pole is in the back here. There's the coil, and these are the contacts. So, let's start with the bottom. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, another one of those on the car? What? Contactor. Yeah, I got a few. Free up some of this wiring. Need some slack. Let's see what we can do. My favorite kind of contactors with these lugs. You should shove the wire right in. You can also use solderless connectors. I like that you have the option with these. All right. I'm gonna go one for one. Also on this contactor that they have here, they got missing lugs and everything. It was, it's been time to change this thing, but it is what it is. Also, the wire size connected here is much thicker. Wonder what's required for these compressors. So, we'll see. I'll do the bottom wire for wire, we'll take photos. And that's pretty much how this is gonna go about. Next one, and just one at a time. We got 100 year connections. Let's see if I can get this off. 
mount the new one in place and then just go wire for wire take one off the old contactor and then put the other one and put it back on the new one and that's all going to be determined to see is if you have slack on your wiring so you want to free up any wires make this as easy as possible for yourself see where this stuff goes that's the coil okay I can put that there and I can mount my new contactor in place and go wire for wire that's gonna make things a lot easier for sure awesome awesome coil Whatever connectors are burnt out, I'm gonna have to cut that off and set that all back up. But let's see, we got the load side completed. Or actually that might be the power side. And now we gotta do this next setup here. Let's see what we can do. Phases shorted out on each other. It's incredible. Why do you need all this? Wasn't it, they weren't even using it. Let's get this right in place here in the lug. Get rid of that. The wire looks good. Also could have had some loose connections with those wire nuts. Not the biggest fan of that. Yo, Zach, you hear that? Uh, I hear some alarms just went off. There's a construction site over there. Jeez, man, what is going on tonight? This wire here is just eating up. You got slack on this? Where is this coming from? Yeah, we got slack on that. Let's get rid of these stupid things, man. Everything's eating up here. Who did this? And look at this wire nut, how it melted. Incredible. This thing is tangled up. So we lost some slack there. If you really wanted, you got space here. So, cut that a little bit. So, some strands are missing in there. That's not good. Some strands are missing here. We actually might need an extension. Alright. So, one at a time, guys. Luckily, I can see where the burnt wire is actually truly burnt and it's gone. All right, I've also got some new solderless connectors too. Let's get that in there. All right, press down. And I have a crimping tool on here as well, so let's get that in there nicely. All right, these connectors are loose and in bad shape. I want to change them with what I have now to get them going. Put some new connectors there for now. We do need the angled bits, but this one didn't even have an electro cover on it. I'll be back to put the correct ones, and I don't have any more for these. All right, main breaker's tripped. I'm gonna turn it off. But you know what? Let's see, control panel, fans. Let's do one compressor at a time because there's gonna be a huge, huge spike of amperage. Let's reset it. Nothing. Jeez, man. Unless this needs to come on. Is there anything trip here? No. We gotta see, where's the power coming into this? There's gotta be another breaker panel. There's, there's gotta be no power here. There, hold up. 
volts AC. I don't know which side is incoming. Not there. Not there. Yeah, we don't have power. Where's the power coming in? Into the contactor somewhere. We've got relays here. Who knows what that's for? We've got some timers, probably for each two for each compressor. <sighs> All right. All right. So right now the br all breakers are off at the unit so technically the units isolated from the line right here remote rack outside 40 amps you can see it's tripped this breaker doesn't seem right look and it just goes right back wait turn it off and turn it on i just did that off I have the unit isolated basically outside. So whatever this is, this could be a faulty breaker or it's the line leading, it's the three phases leading to our unit. If all the breakers are off, nothing's on, nothing's actually connected. Oh man. As you can see, everything is in the off position. So technically this is all isolated, nothing's really connected. Only power will be coming from that main panel and then the three wires coming to feed this unit. You gotta call an electrician for this. That breaker seems like it's actually faulty. Possibly so. But also wouldn't this wouldn't this breaker hold that one in place? Like wouldn't this trip first? and protect that other breaker but I don't know that one seems like it's in bad shape that should be inspected or replaced and they should look into the power wire coming in so if this is off it would only make sense but this is all the wires are cleaned up nothing's burnt new connections got good connections there compressors okay yeah you gotta call the electrician for this Fortunately, we're gonna have to wrap this up here. We brushed down the coil, we fixed the broken wires, changed the contactor. Definitely time for a bit of an update here with the electrical. But there's not really much else I can do. Gotta let the electrician do what the electricians do. And that's it. Let them come in to check that out. And then when it's time, we're gonna have to, they're gonna have to call us back or I'll, I can just instruct them to turn this on turn on the main breaker control panel fans and then compressor one by one and that's all she wrote unfortunately every single unit connected here is just done and it is what it is and there's nobody else in the building but us nobody's in the kitchen anymore we just got people at the hotel front desk uh, this is really a nightmare this is a true emergency but it's out of our hands now everything's gonna go to waste i don't see anybody ordering dry ice i said just in case order dry ice put in those refrigerators nothing's happening they're gonna lose every single thing in the refrigerators they got multiple walk-in boxes it is what it is hello everyone quick update the other night we were here and this broke down after changing the contactor and burnt wires I noticed that the, the main breaker wasn't resetting inside the building. An electrician came that morning, changed the breaker, flipped the switch, and everything came on. Just wanted to give you all an update. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for new videos every week.